Hello everyone and welcome to a beautiful Monday. And uh, I was sitting around, I was trying to think, I was like, man, what am I gonna do today for a video? And uh, nothing was coming to mind, nothing was coming to mind. And I was getting ready, I'm getting ready to go see a movie. And I was like, hey, Movie Tuesday is uh, tomorrow, but I just did like my uh, best places for Food Friday and Movie Tuesday is my other reoccurring segment where I do movie reviews. I was like, why don't I talk about like five of the best movies that I went and saw today? So I went through, I was going through my playlist of all the Movie Tuesday reviews and I have 17 weeks of uh, movie reviews, so about less than half of uh, my Food Fridays, but it's okay. I'm gonna do a uh, five, five movies that I really enjoyed and went and saw in theaters and they're going to be in no particular order, so they're not a not a top list, but just a list in general of the movies that I enjoyed the most out of the 17 or 18 that I went and saw. So to start off the list, we're going to go Marvel, and it is Ant-Man and the Wasp. I had a lot of fun watching this. Paul Rudd is just perfectly cast as Ant-Man. The girl who plays his daughter in it is so lovable and like heartbreaking to watch while you're while you're into it, and. Uh, the Wasp was a great addition to the cast too, so this movie's a lot of fun, good for, you know, all ages, and it, you know, just goes along with the Marvel Universe in general, which brings me to my second movie that I also really enjoyed, and also is Marvel. It would be just, you know, not fair to not put Infinity War on the list. I actually didn't do a movie review on Infinity War, but I did do a like it was one of my first spoiler videos and you guys can find it on the channel if you like to go watch what I think about Infinity War. Uh, the movie was fantastic although in my opinion it is only half a movie so I still can't fully judge it until you know part two or Avengers 4 comes out next year and uh but it's just a solid, a solid, a solid good movie that again you can watch with you know the family and friends, and is very high quality and ties into you know the 20 plus movie cinematic universe that Marvel's created. So the third movie, and I said it's not a top list, but this one is by far my favorite that came out this year so far, and that is A Star Is Born. I can't say enough good things about this movie. Bradley Cooper's directorial debut, he was like a 10 out of 10 in his acting during the movie. Lady Gaga's 10 out of 10 for her voice and her singing in the movie, as well as her being like a 9 out of 10 on her acting and Bradley Cooper being a 9 out of 10 on his singing. Everything meshed, they have such great on-screen chemistry. The movie's still in theaters, so if you get a chance, go watch it and you will not regret it. One of the movies that caught me by surprise this year that I wasn't even really interested in going to see, but I went and saw it with Damien anyways, was Ocean's 8. Uh, this movie was so Ocean's-esque. Everything from the editing to their uh, dialogue, everything was in the Ocean's frame of mind. And it just really worked, even though it was an entirely new cast. They kind of, it is, you know, shared universe. It's not a reboot or anything, and it is, uh, intertwinable and it has cameos in it and you know just really worked as a movie i highly enjoyed it so uh that movie should be out by now if you haven't watched it check it out you'll enjoy it if you like the past ocean movies and another big surprise which also happens to be the first movie that i did a movie review on was upgrade upgrade was like a mixture of john wick with like a comedy and futuristic like altered carbon elements to it which was just wild it was a, a crazy crazy movie but it also just worked like it was fun it was it had depth to it although you know they did not reinvent the wheel with this movie it was good I just thoroughly enjoyed it like I said it was the first movie that I did a movie review on and I'm really glad that I did it because now it's, you know, spawned this. And like I said, 17 weeks, uh, tomorrow will be the 18th week. 
uh, that I've done a movie review and I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. So if you guys want to check out any of these movie reviews that I did, they are all in a playlist for you. Go through, check them out individually. Some of them are spoilers, some of them are non-spoilers, so you'll have to take that into my into account before you watch them if you haven't seen them yet. But that's going to be it for me today, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day. I'll see you tomorrow.